Leave insert higher level maths 2020. Paper two, this is the solution video to question three. So question three is a trigonometry question. We have a flagpole GH, this is the flagpole here, uh, shown in the diagram is vertical and the ground is inclined at an angle of five degrees. So this is the angle of the ground here um, at five degrees to the horizontal between E and G. Uh, the angles of elevation from E and F to the top are 35 degrees and 52 degrees, respectively. The distance from E to F along the incline, that's this distance here, is 6 metres. Uh, how far is F from the base of the pole G along the incline? So this distance here, how far is F from G? So that's the distance we're trying to find here. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. OK, so uh, to do this, I'm going to first of all fill in some angles that um, I can figure out fairly easy here. So I can see here I have a right or I have a straight angle, 52 degrees here. That means I have 128 degrees left over here. Then up here, I'll have 128 plus 35. If I take both of them from 180, I'm left with 17 up there. Then what do I have? I have, this is five degrees, this is 90 degrees. So this angle here is 85 degrees. Uh, this is a straight angle again. So that means if I have 85 here, I have 95 here. And then I have 95, 52, take them away from 180 and I have 33 up there. So I probably don't need all of those angles, but it's always helpful to get as much information as possible. So we're looking to find FG, this length here. I won't be able to find it in one step, so I'll have to go and find some other lengths uh, along the way. I have the most information in this triangle here because I have all three angles, but I also have one of the lengths. So I can find either this length here or this length here um, by using the sign rule. So it would make most sense to find this one here, FH, because that would bring me into this triangle here, which is the triangle that I want more information about. So if I call this, say, X, and if I do the sine rule, it'll be X over sine 35 degrees is equal to 6 over sine 17. And then if I want to find x, I just multiply across by sine 35. So x is equal to 6 sine 35 degrees over sine 17 degrees. So x is equal to 6 sine 35 over sine 17. So that's 11.77. So that gives me that there as 11.77. Now I can go into this triangle and to find this length, let's call FG is the one that I want. So it's this one, FG. So it'll be FG over sine 33. is equal to my x, which was 11.77 over sine of 95. So if I want fg, fg is equal to 11.77 sine 33 degrees over sine of 90 five degrees. So we can set this up again. It's 11.77 sine 33 degrees over sine of 95 degrees, which is six point FG is equal to six point four three four 
eight. We want to correct to two decimal places, so that's approximately equal to 6.43 meters. Okay, on to part B then. Uh, in the diagram, the large circle S, so the large circle is S, has center O. The small circle C has center D. The circle C touches the circle S at the point C. That's that point there. Uh, o, A and O, B are tangents to the smaller circle. The radius of C is R, that's the radius there. And this angle here is 60 degrees. The ratio of the area of S to the area of C is K is to one. So the area of the big one is K times bigger than the area of the small one. Find the value of K. All right, so well, area we know is pi r squared. We have the radius of the small circle, which is r. We need the radius of the big circles. We need this distance here, o, c. We're gonna write that in terms of r. We want them in terms of each other. So I'm gonna start by trying to find this length here, o, d, in terms of r. Now, what I can do here is if this angle here is 60, I know that this angle here is 30 degrees. Because these are both tangents, I can use similar triangles by drawing a radius here. I have or, I have or, I have a right angle, I have a right angle, and I have a common side. So that means they're congruent triangles. So then that means this angle here, 60, is divided in half to give me 30. So I can use a bit of trigonometry to find this distance here, OD. So I can say the sine of 30 degrees is equal to or over, I'm going to call it x. So then x multiply across by x, x sine 30 is equal to or, divide by sine 30, x is equal to or over sine 30 degrees. Now sine 30 degrees is a half so x is equal to or over a half. So that means x is equal to or divided by a half is two or. So x is equal to two or. So that means this distance here, O, D is two or. Now, if this is two or and this is or, then O, C is equal to three or. So that is the radius of the big circle. So let's call it big radius. So big radius is equal to three times the small radius. Okay, so the big radius is equal to three times the small radius. Now I can do the area of S to the area of C. So the area of S is the big one, so that's pi r squared, and the area of C is pi r squared, small r. Now I know that big r is 3 small r, so that's pi times 3 r squared is to pi or squared. Now I'm going to divide across by the pi there. Um, now I have 3 or to be squared is 9 or squared is to or squared. So the ratio then is 9 or squared is to or squared. So that's 9 is to 1. So that means k is equal to 9. Okay, that's question three. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.